Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Alexis, AKA Scandalex. We vlogging this week. For the rest of the week, it's Wednesday already, so we're gonna vlog moving forward. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you stay for a while. I'm friendly, I swear to God. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on social media, and if you're returning, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in all the time. So, like I said, we're vlogging this week. It is after. It's 8 o'clock at night, actually. Yesterday, I was supposed to vlog with you guys to get my nails done, but I just was not feeling the vibe, so I'm probably not going to go to her again. And that's fucked up. <laughs> it's not fucked up, but you know, it's one thing. I don't like when people are rough with my nails. Like, girl, she did a good job. She did, a, she did an okay job with my nails, okay? She did an okay job with my nails. If you look closely, it's not an okay job. And, um... She was just very, very rough. I don't like when people are rough with me. Like when she was filing, I almost wanted to tell her, listen, like stop. So that was the tea from yesterday when I went and got my nails done. Um, and I put my pictures up since you guys have been gone. I don't really, I'm not gonna give you guys too many details on the pictures and everything. I'm, I'm missing one picture as you can see. I need one more picture to fill in that little hole there. So my gallery wall is almost complete. Um, I'm not gonna give you guys a close-up because I want you guys to tune into my full house tour when I'm done with all my stuff and my couch came as well. My couch is back there, my rug. Maybe I will give you guys a close-up a little later. But um, that's what's new. Me and my boyfriend actually just came from getting facials. I got a hydro facial earlier at this place. It was the cutest little place ever. I forget the name of it, but everything is gonna be linked below. We got, it was like she, drained my limbs first and then she like sucked all of like my blackheads and my whiteheads and everything out of my face and then she showed me at the end like all the gunk that came out of my face and I didn't even realize it but that's the first time I ever got a facial like I you, you guys know I have my steamer so I steam and I do my own face masks and stuff and I have my own regimen my skincare regimen but I literally never went and got a professional facial so I got that earlier so that's what I did earlier today now I'm about to make myself some I'm super nasally by the way I'm sick y'all and no don't be under my comments talking about oh yeah that's the coronavirus no I'm sick because my boyfriend likes to keep the air on 60 degrees when we sleep because he's a very warm sleeper. He's just warm all the time. Me, I like to keep my AC on 73 degrees all the time. That's like the perfect room temperature. And he, I, to accommodate him, I put it super low on 60 degrees for three days in a row. So I had to send him back to his own apartment. You wanna be igloo? You wanna, mm -mm, you gotta go home. So yeah, so now I am sick. I've been taking vitamins medicine drinking a lot of orange juice i slept for two days straight y'all i was so sick like i woke up i was so sick anyway i'm about to make myself some dinner we made salmon sliders last night so i'm gonna have leftover salmon and then i made myself some white rice and some vegetables i'm about to make some stir fry vegetables show you i'm about to prop you guys up so you guys can watch me make these vegetables everything else is already done i'm actually gonna stop playing with y'all and just show you guys my couch and everything so this is my gallery wall it's so cute and then like i said i'm missing one picture it's gonna go right there and then my couch came she's so comfortable and beautiful she's green and then my lamp came from target and then the rug is from at home. These two little end tables here are from, where are these from? At home as well. So yeah, my place is coming together. See, I'm so glad I got a facial, guys, because look at my skin. It actually got worse um, because she was like, like sucking at them. It got worse, but it's gonna get better, I'm sure. Because all that gunk she got off my skin, oh my God, I was so happy. Oh, my pots and pans are so heavy. Like, why is that not heavy? I'm sure these are not really healthy because that sauce is healthy. What kind of spell do you have me alone? Speakers in my apartment. 
performing were literally the best thing that's ever happened to me. Like this, all I do is listen to music all day. The Emancipation of Mimi was literally one of Mariah Carey's best albums, period. Like, that's what we on all night. So, dinner is served. Bon appetit, hoes. We got some mixed vegetables, rice, and then my little piece of salmon. I'm about to fire this up, and then I'll meet y'all back in a second. All right, so I need you guys to wish me luck. So, this will be the third time I'm dyeing this wig. I'm trying to get it <laughs> to be a deep plum. Like this was blonde. It went from literally like a 613 blonde wig. I'm trying to get it to a deep plum. Let me give you guys a backstory. So the first time I tried to dye it, I dyed it with watercolor. And watercolor has worked for me before. I dyed a wig like purple with watercolor. But for some reason, this wig was not taking the watercolor at all. So I had to dye it with this and then I'm gonna dye it again to get it a deeper, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea to dye a wig three times, honestly. <laughs> but we just gonna have to see. So yeah, I'm gonna because I want it to be a deep plum. Like this color is not the color I want. So we're gonna try it one more time. Third time to charm, ain't that what they say? So wish me luck, because if this don't come out the way I want it the third time, it's over. And I'm supposed to be doing a get ready with me with this wig like tomorrow. <laughs> so I need it to work. Okay, wish me luck. And look what happened yesterday to my freaking cabinets. When I was dyeing my hair, some of the dye splattered over over here. And I didn't even see it until this morning. So it literally dyed my cabinets. It looks like it was a freaking crime scene. Looks like blood spattered all over my cabinet. So if y'all know or have any good ideas on how to get hair dye out of white cabinets, please let me know. I don't know guys, I tried bleach, so I guess that wasn't good enough. All right, watch me work. Okay guys, so after I dyed it for the third time, I think it's finally at the color that I like. But you know, after hair like dries, it lightens up. So we'll see in the morning if it is the color that I want. But it's better than that color I had before. So hopefully I'm gonna cross my fingers in the morning, it'll be good. Good afternoon, y'all. Do you guys wanna come with me to run some errands? Well, you have no choice, because that's what we're doing today. Was that me? Did I just beat my horn? So, yeah, we're about to go run some errands. I need to stop at the leasing office first, pick up some mail. Fashion Nova sent me some clothes. Um, and then we're gonna go get my eyebrows threaded, because these shits are horrendous. I honestly just wanna try microblading. Like, I've just been building up enough courage. First of all, I need to find the perfect person to do my microblading because it needs to be good. Like, this is like a tattoo on your face, basically. So, I need someone who's like fire with microblading to, um, before I decide to do that. Because that's like, if someone fucks up your microblading, your face is fucked up for the next one to three years. That probably looks so weird to you guys without my eyebrows filled in because you guys never see me with my eyebrows not filled in. And then I'm gonna go get a P.O. box because a lot of you guys have been reaching out, asking you know, if you can send stuff from your boutiques and your beauty lines and your skincare lines, and I wanna be able to receive all that stuff. I just can't get back to each and every message you guys send me, so I'm just gonna put my P.O. box um, on my Instagram and I'm gonna put it down below so you guys always have access to it so you can send whatever goodies you would like and I will shout you guys out on my Instagram stories as well as on my weekly vlogs. I can just showcase 
the stuff that you guys send me. I feel like that would be awesome. I got a whole bunch of mail too, I don't even know. People were sending me mail. How do I even get my address? Shit. I wonder if I'm gonna need this. Actually, it's good that I picked up the mail because I might need this to get a P.O. box because I'm not a resident of Georgia yet. I don't even have like a Georgia license or nothing yet. They might be like, why are you trying to get a P.O. box? You know, like sometimes when you want to like sign up for stuff, you have to bring a piece of mail with your address on it. You guys know what I'm talking about, y'all grown. But so it's good I picked up the mail. Got my Fashion Nova package. I'm not doing another Fashion Nova haul for a while because I know y'all sick of Fashion Nova. Like I did like four in a row. Y'all, I got something to tell y'all. I'm so fidgety right now and I'm trying to like hide it. <laughs> but I can't hide it. Okay, so before my boyfriend left this morning, he hit me with the, we need to talk. And I was like, what the like I saw so I chased him. I was in the I was in the bathroom. He was like, I'm about to leave. And then before he left, he was like, We need to talk. So I raced after him. I was like, why would you say we need to talk and then leave? He was like, I don't feel like talking right now. And he was being very mean to me this morning. Like he just woke but I just had assumed that he woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I was like, Okay, you know, that happens to me too. And then he hit me with the we need to talk. What the f does this nigga want to talk about? Like every time that happens, I'll be in trouble. Last time it was a we need to talk, I was in trouble. And it was like, it was my fault. Like I was really in trouble. And it was like for a good reason. So so now he hit me with the we need to talk and I'm nervous. I hate when he does that because he'll do it at the beginning of the day and then he won't tell me until like nighttime. So I have all day to like be afraid of what's going on. But just say a quick prayer for me because I ain't trying to get broken up with. Like I didn't do anything. Anyway, if the nigga wants to break out with me, fine. Like, new city, new niggas. No, I'm just fine. Like, I don't want any new niggas. Like, I want my nigga. So, all right, where am I going? I'm going to get threaded. All right, I'm also at this threading place. Hopefully, because y'all, I don't got a lot of eyebrows as is. So, I usually just like my things to be cleaned up. Just clean them up, arch them for me. And make them easy for me to fill in because if you don't get your eyebrows done for a while it's so hard to fill them in because they're so unruly so hopefully they can help me out here I always get nervous going to new people like this is my face here gotta wipe off my lip gloss before I put my mask on <clears throat> never fail to be disappointed when I try new people to thread my eyebrows like never I'm definitely going to miss my ladies in Pittsburgh oh my god it doesn't even look like she did anything you guys probably can't even see because the sun and all they do is talk shit oh you have such thin eyebrow I know I have thin eyebrows like just thread them just clean them up like she literally talks so much shit I'm like guys I know I have very light eyebrows what the Oh, you need to rub the castor oil on them every night. I know about castor oil. I know. I know. Jeez. She took all that shit and then couldn't even, like, clean me up. I was like, I'm going to leave you so much hair. I don't really want so much hair left. I just want them. They don't look bad. I mean, they don't look bad. They just look the same. Like, I could have just tweezed these hoes myself. Well, that was a fail. I spent $8. Oh, nothing. <laughs> now I'm just going to head. I'm so annoyed. Like, <laughs> All right, to the post office we go. God damn. Try the castor oil on them. I tried castor oil. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Y'all, I've been doing kind of a good job maneuvering these highways. It is hard. Oh, I got another package. Did I get another package? I got two packages today. Someone just sent me another package. I don't know what that could be. Maybe it's Amazon. 
Y'all know I constantly get stuff on Amazon, but my leasing office will text me when I get new packages and I just got another package. So we'll head there after we're done setting up this PO box. What was I saying? Oh yeah, it's hard. Like Atlanta, I come from two lane highways. There's five lane highways. Like I can only imagine learning to drive like a new driver when I was like 15 on a five lane highway. Oh my God. Much respect if you've learned to drive in Atlanta because we got it easy where I was from. Ain't no way I could have maneuvered those highways. You can drive here, you can drive anywhere. But what else am I gonna do today? I don't know, since my boyfriend's on some we need to talk shit, I don't think we'll be hanging out. I need to find some friends. Like, before I start getting lonely, it's time. Now I have to find some friends here. If you live in Atlanta and you're a cool ass hit me up, we can be friends. <laughs> we can be friends. I'm a cool ass bitch to wear. What y'all doing? <laughs> it's later, like later, later, like 11 o'clock at night later. I came home and what did I do? Y'all, guess what I have for dinner? Such a struggle because I didn't get food when I was out and I did not take any meat out to cook. I had two grilled cheese sandwiches for dinner. <laughs> so, it's so poor. Like, I didn't have no food to eat that I wanted to. I'm not even gonna say I didn't have no food to eat. I just didn't feel like cooking no food. So that's what I had for dinner and now I'm hungry again, but I'm not gonna eat until tomorrow because that's my fault for not getting food when I was out. Um, so my bed comes tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. I forgot all about it until they called me like, hey, you have scheduled to get your bed delivered from, they give you the wildest, did y'all even, I'm sorry, I be talking to y'all and like half my head be showing. So yeah, they gave me a window of, is this an ugly angle? I be trying to only get cute angles for y'all, but I be ugly, so. <laughs> Anyway, from 2.45 to 6.45, ain't that wild? Like, y'all gave me four hours that I have to stay home and wait for you guys to get here, to put the bed together, like four hours of my day. Anyway, I'm gonna stop complaining. Cause remember, if y'all watched my last vlog, y'all know they are a week late. My bed was supposed to be here last Friday. It's coming tomorrow. Anyway, I think I'm about to wax my underarms because, <laughs> so random because I've been putting it off and they look crazy. So, you know, I don't shave my underarms, I wax because I've been trying to get them lighter. Since my video I posted like four months ago of me trying to light my underarms. So I've stopped shaving and I just wax. And are they any lighter? No. A lot of you guys have asked for an update. My underarms literally just look the same. <laughs> That's because I haven't like, I just gave up. Like it's not that, I don't need to be that vain. They're just underarms, like no one's looking at my underarms at all. My boyfriend and I still have not talked. Oh, I didn't even fucking update you guys. Oh my God, SOS 911, it's serious. <laughs> and I'm laughing to like, I'm laughing to hide the pain, but right now I'm fucking worried, okay? He texted me talking about, I, I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> he said, Basically, Lex, you fucked up big time, and I'm taking 48 hours to process my emotions and how I want to handle things. Like, the only thing I can think of is that he's seen some old shit. <sighs> my heart, when he sent that text message, my heart was beating so hard. I'm like, no, no. But I don't care. Like, it has to be old shit because I have not done nothing, y'all. I've been a good girlfriend. If he's seen some shit from months ago, that's different, <laughs> that ain't none of my business. And I'm gonna have to plead to get his ass back, but um, yeah, hopefully he'll talk to me soon. If not, I don't know, I'll keep y'all updated. I'm about to wax my underarms. Give me a glass of, oh, I can't drink wine still because I'm not over this head cold. And I need to take some medicine. So I'll hold off on the wine, but after I wax my underarms, I'm going to sleep and then I'll meet you guys tomorrow when they're coming to put together my bed. Yay! 
Okay, thanks guys. I guess I'll y'all. Hey, How much I got to tip? Because I already motherfucking paid. You're like 20 or better. 20 or better? What's in that bill? <laughs> First of all. <laughs> because I'm not not shit but first of all they didn't call me 30 minutes before they were supposed to call me 30 minutes before they didn't call me now he's there asked for a tip we called you 10 minutes before but I want to tip him too it's, and I'm not tipping y'all 60 you can send the help well send me my help and send only him okay so since for both y'all I'll send y'all 40 what's your cash yeah, at? 4-4 four, four. what? 4-4 four, 4-4 four. 4-0-4 four, four. Four, zero, four. Oh, y'all accents are crazy. Eight one nine. Four. Hey, my bed looks nice. Look at it. It's so girly. It's so girly, but it's so high. I love it. Woo! Yes, honey. Oh, this looks good. Now that my bed mission is complete, I'm gonna go get some food. I'm probably gonna get some something quick because I wanna eat dinner later. Like I want a good dinner later. So I'm gonna just go to like Chick-fil-A or Zaxby's. Oh, I set up my PO box. So that is all set to go. You guys can start sending me stuff. I'm gonna showcase you guys on my weekly vlogs and on my Instagram stories as well. So I'm gonna put that on the screen right here, my PO box, so you guys can screenshot. And it'll also be in the description box below. It'll be in all my description boxes from now on. So you guys can send me stuff, because I know like I can't, you guys have been emailing me and DMing me on Instagram. I just can't get back to all you guys, so I thought it'd be easier. Set up a PO, ugh. Ew, my voice cracked me from like a little boy. <laughs> So it will be easier for you guys to just send me stuff through my P.O. box. Where is Zaxby's? Zaxby's or Chick-fil-A? Zaxby's or Chick-fil-A? What do you guys like better? I'll be talking to you guys like this is on live or some shit. Anyway, what do you guys like better? I low-key, don't hate me, don't hate me, don't hate me. I low-key like Zaxby's better than Chick-fil-A. I like their fries better. Waffle fries don't really do nothing for me. I like them. But Zaxby's crinkly fries with the season... That hits a little different, I'm not gonna hold you. And her chicken sandwiches are better, like. Sorry, not sorry, Zaxby's wins every day in my book. So I'm just gonna get some Zaxby's, I guess. If they're open, every time I come over here, they don't be open. I did, don't know what I want. They got fried pickles? Mm. I don't want no fried pickles. <sighs> My hair looks so big. I'm trying to be so cute, but it's just not working. I'm trying to post a boomerang. I'm just not feeling it. And I got some in my eye. What the hell? Y'all weren't going to tell me I had some in my eye? Ooh, I don't know what I want. Hi, can I just have one second, please? Can I have the three nibblers, please? Okay, what's the drink? Um, to drink, can I just have a bottle of water? We don't carry bottles of water. Okay, can I have, do you guys have half sweet tea, half lemonade, Arm Palmer? Arm Palmer, yes, we do anything else. That's all, can I have some ranch, of course? Extra ranch? Yes, please. Anything else? That's all. It's 32, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's the green card? Oh, okay. I was definitely going to leave it. Thank you. All right, y'all. Where am I going to go? To the bank. I always feel so guilty after eating fast food. I feel disgusting. I just feel like vomiting everywhere. Ew. It was not worth it. Where is Home Goods? I don't even know where I'm going. I think it's in here. Yeah, there we go. 
right here. Right here. Because Home Goods got the rugs, right? Home Goods got the rugs. TJ Maxx don't have rugs. They might have like little area rugs, but I need like a big rug. Y'all, don't y'all think this is cute for my patio? I don't really like that pillow, but this is cute. Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Remember, we seen that stuff on Amazon. It was cheaper. But it's cute, though, but no. I did want to get a gray throw for my bed. This And they're so soft. Oh, my God. Should I just grab this one? Or this one? Or... No, I don't really like that one. This one's nice. Oh, I like this one kind of. Uh, I feel like I can do better. I don't know. I'll keep looking. You know, I did want to get some lanterns though for my living room. I want gold ones though. I want gold lanterns. Oh, this is cute maybe for like a bathroom. I can see that in my bathroom. I do want to get some plants too. Candles. I am leaving. I'm going to go to at home. First of all, I like this mirror. All these other mirrors are not as long as this one. However, I don't like this wood frame. I kind of wish this one had this frame, but the, I, I like this one that's just not big enough. Like it's not long enough. So I'm thinking of buying this one and then just like painting or spray painting the frame. But y'all, I'm not doing too much. I might as well just order one off of like, I don't even know. Cause I've been looking for, I don't know why no one has these mirrors right now. It's so annoying. Everyone is like short. I don't know, I'm gonna keep looking around guys. Like, why is it wood? So I drove 30 minutes all the way out here to not be able to find any. I came here for pillowcases. Can I find pillowcases? Can I find a rug? Can I find anything? So I'm leaving and I'm taking my talents to Amazon. Okay, I added some more bullshit to the cart. <laughs> I don't know, this is like a little gold lamp thingy thing. You just gotta get some batteries and put it in there. It's actually kind of cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put that yet. And then this little decoration here, and this little decoration here. I don't know guys, like I feel like I'm buying bullshit, but it's gonna look cute <laughs> when I start putting this stuff, and it's all gold if you haven't noticed. All right, whatever. Let me just buy it before I change my mind and wanna return everything. All right guys, look what I got for dinner. Can you be quiet? Yeah, I'm, I'm vlogging. Hi guys. It's Bijan. <laughs> I'm weak. She's over there juicing. I'm about to make me a juice or get me a juicer like her. So I got some broccoli cheddar soup from Publix. I'm so excited. I'm gonna make me like a little sandwich, little turkey sandwich. And then she wants to get on live. So I gotta rush and get ready. So I got oh, you gonna do this too? Like, you gonna make this so like I the only me thing? What? You gonna make this the only me thing when you want to she is so full of crap, y'all. Like, she's the one who was like, let's get on live. Blah, 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 blah. And I was but who, like, wants to get on, who wants to get on live the other day, though? That was the other day. You know what? That bun and them earrings and them nails and them claps and them lashes. <laughs> it's real ghetto. <laughs> it's real it's giving ghetto. I like that. We love it. Boy, well, I gotta go real quick. Okay. Girl, bye. You so, mm -mm, bye. You see how your friends hop off the phone with you when a little boy calls them? That is crazy. My friends ain't shit. And I was supposed to call Pena back. Oh, Pena called me too. She's gonna be like this bitch. There's some holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. Shopping. 
thing. Okay guys, so I just got off of live with Bijan. And now, that's why the lighting is so good. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Anytime I get on live, y'all, I'll be wanting my lighting to be good. So I had to use my little ring light as my little setup. So that's why this lighting is fire right now. But now, it's late. Like, and I've been trying to go to sleep earlier. I told you guys that. I be going to sleep at like four o'clock in the morning. So it's 12 o'clock, excuse me. And now I'm probably just gonna watch some TV, watch some Moesha. I was talking about on live just a few seconds ago how y'all were trying to cancel me and that's fucked up. <laughs> Cause I had never watched Moesha. Like when I was a kid, I just didn't watch Moesha. The only sitcoms I watched was Sister Sister, The Cosby Show, Fresh Prince and Martin. That was the only shows really besides like That's So Raven and stuff. That's the only shows I watched. Like I did not watch any Moesha. So I watched like one episode, two episodes yesterday. I was like, oh my God, this show was so cute. So I'm probably just gonna binge watch Moesha and order stuff off of Amazon because my trip to at home and TJ Maxx today and Home Goods was just like a fail. So I'm just gonna order everything off Amazon and chill out until tomorrow. So I'll probably meet up with you guys tomorrow. And then, yeah, I'll meet up with you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon, guys. So, I got some gifts from Amazon today. Super excited, I got some wall art. So, for my bedroom, I got some wall art for my bedroom and I'm so excited to hang it. By the way, Amazon, count your f***ing days, okay? Y'all know I love you, but your delivery people suck. I literally had to like, go all around my building to find where they left my package. They didn't leave it in front of my door. They didn't leave it in the leasing office. They just left it by some random elevator. You know how they take a picture of it and send it to you. I had to literally like, anyway, count your fucking days. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and hang this art I got. It's three pieces, so it's that. And then it is dos, tres. So there's three pieces that are gonna hang above my bed. And you know I'm an independent woman, I don't need nobody's help, so I'm gonna go ahead and hang these all by myself. And I hung those by myself too. All them pictures right there I hung by myself, so I know I can do it. Slight work, easy work, so I'm gonna prop you guys up. She's the kind of girl you wanna marry. The kind of girl you want the whole earth for. Put her on your back and just carry. Her attitude is hotter than the earth's core. She's around, nothing else matters Untouchable, she's got her own force field Sooner or later, someone will get at her If I don't, someone else will Wanna love you, girl, wanna love you, girl Wanna love you, girl, wanna love you Wanna love you, girl, wanna love you, girl Wanna love you, girl, wanna love you Wanna love you, girl, wanna love you, girl Wanna love you, girl, wanna love you Y'all, okay, bump that. So my boyfriend is finally coming to talk to me about why the f we need to talk and I'm nervous. I got butterflies. Okay, I'm about to go grab them from downstairs. Y'all, so I didn't even finish putting up my pictures because my boyfriend was literally coming up to talk to me while I was doing that. So let me tell you guys, that was, it was terrible. Like the interaction was really Ad. Like I thought it was just gonna be like a conversation we we're gonna have, you know, he said we need to talk I was like, okay, let's talk But it was more of a confrontational thing it was Just like more like one person talking The whole time and that person was not me. So um, Yeah, it didn't end very well. It was giving very much love and hip-hop vibes actually so I say all that to say Babies, I don't want to give you guys too much information but then I do want to tell y'all what the happened. Like, so basically, he has seen some shit. I thought I was the nosy one in the relationship. Turns out he's the nosy one. He's seen some old stuff 
before we made it official. So it wasn't like I cheated or anything. Basically, he's seen some things, some things that went on very early in our relationship before we made everything official. So he was very upset about it. Rightfully so, you know, if the shoe was on the other foot and I had seen some stuff with him and other girls, even though, you know, it was early in our relationship, me being like in love with him now, I would have been upset too. So I'm not gonna discredit his emotions and how he feels right now and if he wants to forgive me, that's fine, he can forgive me. If he doesn't, that's just gonna be a hard pill I have to swallow, but I mean, that's the way he wants to cope with it. That's what he's gonna have to do. So that's the update on that. Um, I am being strong about it because I was crying earlier. Like I was upset. Like what the f he seen some old ass shit and this is how you want to act. But I can't, like I said, I'm an emotional ass person. So when I see someone react, um, in a way that they're upset or sad or angry, I kind of just try to put myself in their shoes. But um, yeah, that's the update on that. If things don't get better, y'all, I might be a single girl out here. <laughs> Hopefully he comes to his senses because I do love him. But if not, one thing about me is I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna be sad for a few days because I'm an emotional ass cancer, okay? I'm gonna be sad. But one thing about Scandalex is that I'm going to boss the fuck up. Like, I'll be fine. Just gotta give me a few days or a week or so. And I'll be back with Beyonce say, or Beyonce's mom just said that Beyonce told her, and I tweeted this just now, you got 24, it was like 24, 48 hours to feel sad for yourself, to cry after a relationship. After that, you gotta boss up. You gotta put your big girl pants on and move forward that like I'm not, I'm not gonna kiss nobody's ass, honestly. It is what it is <laughs> so that's that i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because i still have to put up these pictures i have to have my wine and then probably go to sleep wake up tomorrow and then edit this vlog i'm gonna edit this vlog for you guys have it up hopefully by tomorrow tomorrow sunday if not it'll be up for you guys monday <laughs> and then um yeah I'll keep you guys updated. I'll let you guys know about my relationship in the next few videos here. I'm gonna show you guys my updated bedroom when everything is done. I have some things coming from Amazon on Monday. I have some new um, bedding. I have some new pillows and stuff. So that's gonna be fun. And if you guys made it to the end, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. Follow me on social media, Instagram, and you can follow me on Twitter too, even though I have like 3,000 followers on Twitter because I'll never be on there. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.